YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie and welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, I'm starting a brand new series where I cover the weekly challenge in Phasmophobia every single week, okay? So this week we have speedrun. All right, maybe you could start a timer. How quickly can you find this ghost identity? And you have to do it three times on Tanglewood. So it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun, and it's apparently gonna be fast. So I have no idea what that means, but anywho, before we get into it, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you wanna find your way back for more content like Phasmophobia or any other spooky stuff, hit the subscribe button with notifications on. Also, I'm recording this live on my stream uh, that's taking place over on twitch.tv slash koozie. If you wanna come check me out live, I'd love to have you, the link for that is down in the description as well. So anywho, enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it. Okay. Um. Sh sh oh. Oh. Do we got tier three stuff, bro? This never happens with the weekly challenge. Normally, you always get like um, crappy stuff. All right. So the the goal of the challenge is to find the ghost type as fast as you can. So I don't know if we're necessarily gonna worry about this. Maybe for the first run, we just try to speed run it. But uh, yeah, but the question is, okay, so we started 100 sanity. And so that means I'm assuming we're on like professional, meaning we're getting all three evidences. But uh, let's see if we have something like curse possession or something like that. Breakers on by default. I fucking love this. This is, oh, we have the mirror. Okay, it's the boys bedroom. Hello, ghost. Thank you. Um. All right. Wait. Do we have all the curse possessions? <gasps> we do. But <laughs> stuff wasn't available. Um. All right. Let's grab this. All right. Let's kind of treat this like a no evidence run. I'm grabbing crucifix. Which is the tier 3, which is nice because it will uh, stop a curse hunt. Oh. Is it a wraith? Uh, no, it's not a wraith. It's stepped in salt. Okay. We're speed running this, man. All right, so now since we have at least the voodoo or the uh, music box and the whatchamacallit on um, the mirror, we can at least look and see if we have like the voodoo doll because that's going to help tremendously. Okay, I don't like that. Um, I really can't wait till they 12.8, 11. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's voodoo. Okay, so I think we have all cursed possessions. Tarot cards. The moon. Okay, the fool. I should really grab a smudge stick for this. Let's just see if we can figure this out without doing anything funky. Oh, and it's tier 3 smudge, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. Um... I'm gonna put one of these back and grab this. Did I just see dots? It keeps touching doors. Did I just see dots? Can you give me a sign? Okay, I threw something. Hasn't written in the book yet. Let's check our temperature. 5.6. It needs to be like 0 0.3. Alright, it's slowly going down. Um It hasn't left anything. Okay, we have dots. Um I don't think it's UV. Could be freezing. Eh. Temperature's going back up. Um, let's see here. What is that? Okay. Um, oh, and the ghost is slow? Airball? Okay, well, it's not an Oni, and it's following me around doing ghost events. 
Is it, it's not a mare. Let's just see here. What is my sanity? And music is creepy as hell. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm only at set. So, yeah, I mean, it did an air ball, so. I don't think it's a shade. It could be a shade. Which would be awesome, because that would be mad easy. Alright, so we for sure have dots. It's not a wraith. Um, I guess we... Okay. I'm gonna put this a little bit further in. Check temp. I don't think it's freezing. What? Was it this? Or was it this? No? Okay, it's not UV. Trying to see if it'll trigger anything. Okay, that was a curse taunt. Alright, we have... We're left with Yuri, Yokai, uh, Dio, and Thay. I don't think it's a Thay, because I think a Thay would have hunted by now. Um, Alright, let's just check for spear box real quick. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay, we have spirit box. Um, let's check our sanity to make sure it's not a yokai curse. My sanity is absolutely nuked into the ground. Um, so it's not a race, so it's either a Dio. Alright, so we can actually... We can figure this out. It's hunting? It's normal speed, it's a yokai. A Dio would be mad obvious. I fucked up. Hello, ghost. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? I mean, I kind of fucked that up. He had line of sight on me. I'm having to just use my ears. Right now. Oh, it's a cursed one. I forgot. I might die here. But that doesn't really matter for the, uh... Okay. Alright, so Yoka. All right, so this is going to be a very, very quick challenge because you get all cursed possessions and you have tier three stuff and you're very fast. But it sounds like the ghost speed is set to like normal. So that's good at least. All right, it was a yokai. So now let's try to go and do um, like the objectives on top of, now that we know like the basic, let's try to do the objectives and stuff, try to get a little bit more money. All right, here we go. New intel. Reports of light switching. Let's see. Witness the ghost event. Prevent the ghost. Cleanse the area. Okay, easy peasy. I love how fast you move, dude. All right, so we can use the mirror to figure out where the ghost is. I'm going to turn the lights on first. I love that you start out with the... Um, okay, turned off the breaker, not a gen. Feels good. Alright, so Jen can't turn the breaker on, so we got that going for us. Okay, it's the bathroom. Alright, let's go grab Sphere Box. I don't want to force this quite yet. Um, but we can go ahead and cleanse. And then I'll grab... Um, actually, let's just grab this. And I should have left my flashlight in the house. But hopefully it's like a Gorio or something. And it never changes ghost rooms. Where are you? Are you here? 
Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Do you speak? How old are you? How did you die? What do you want? Are you friendly? Okay, it's not really doing spear box, which is fine. We can make that work. Internet pops on back. Welcome back, Toasty. Okay, that door was like perfectly time corgi. Not gonna lie to you, brother. All right, we'll get, um, okay, we got UV. They probably have the settings cranked up to like event frequency up, um, interaction amount or whatever is up. Let's see, we got dots. We'll check for orbs as well. We have one of three evidences. Can you put it on the ceiling? No, you can't. That's fine. Let me turn this off since it's so bright. Do we have orbs? Ah, we have orbs. Potential mimic too, right? No, can't. Yeah, it could be mimic. We have to remember that. Um, can you give me a sign? Where are you? Hello? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Where are you? Where are you? Do you speak? Okay, whatever. Um, check for... Actually, it can't be Gorio. Um, oh, turn off the breaker again. Potential Hantu. I'm just gonna go ahead and bank on Hantu, because a Hantu needs the breaker off to do its ability. So, we can actually go ahead and rule that, uh... We can just double check, I guess. Or maybe wait for one more piece of evidence. Um... It's gonna... What is that, EMF 5 or 3? Okay, EMF 3. Oh, through the book. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? 9.1 10.6 7.5 This is why I hate the tier 3 thermo, bro. This ain't it. Um, okay, Banshee Obake. The tower. Proof that the tower's above. There was plenty of shit that the ghost could have thrown right there. And it didn't. The devil. Okay, the fool. I'm really stupid. I need to drop these real quick. All right. I'm leaning more towards Hantu here. Um, we can grab. What am I holding? Oh, okay. I kind of need that. Uh, we can grab the Paramic test for a Banshee scream, but I don't think. I don't think we're dealing with that. And I don't think it's going to be an Obake either, because it showed fingerprints right off the rip. Hello, can you give me a sign? Hello, ghost? Hello, hello? Can you give me a sign? I think bang- Okay, I just hunted. What's my sanity? I think all of these are 50% ghosts. Um... Alright, well, we prevented the ghost from hunting. Hello? Can you give me a sign? Hello, hello? Okay, I need to turn on the lights here, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed! It's a Hantu. So the lights were off in the... Watch, I can, I can prove that. Hello? Hello, ghost. See how he's not speeding up? The more he sees me. That's how you know it's a Hantu. And we can even further prove this by turning off the breaker and getting another hunt, we would see the ghost breath and the haunting would be much faster. But I don't, but you see how, you see how I got freezing breath right now? It's very, 
hard to see. But I just saw it. Okay, so it is a hantu. Aha! Intuition. Alright. Cue the I'm fast as fuck boy meme. I could have cleansed the area or two, but nah. I'm trying to get this done. I mean, the weekly challenge is called speed run, so, you know. Alright, we go again. This is where this is where knowledge of the ghost behavior outside of like the evidence it gives you is super like super helpful. Cuz like if you can start picking up on and I'm not saying you got to learn every single ghost like uh, behavior and ability. I'm talking about why is my Discord still Um Assuming that's it came from my Elgato. Um, all right. Uh, I'm not saying you got to learn all 24 of the ghosts behaviors, but just like the the basic ones that are very obvious. For instance, like if it's a wraith, it's never going to step in salt, right? Um, if it's a gin, it's never going to turn off the breaker. If it if it does turn off the breaker, you can immediately rule that out. Um, the Oni never can do an airball ghost event. So if you have that, you can immediately rule it out. And that right there helps you rule out, like, so many ghosts already. Um, the Hantu will never be able to turn the breaker on. And if, it, if you have a ghost that is more prone to doing, uh, breaker touches and turning off the breaker and stuff like that, you can start leaning more towards it being a Hantu. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Do you speak? What do you want? How did you die? How many poots have you taken today? Do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? Do you like Creed? How about Nickelback? Um, hello, my friend. It's been again. It's, 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 uh, been, how's the song go? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's not really given spear box. In fact, it's not really given anything. Is this the even, even the right room? It's 20 degrees. Did it move? No, it's still there. So now let's grab the voodoo doll. Hell, uh, let's grab the voodoo doll. <laughs> All right, that is okay. We're at eighty percent sanity because we used the mirror one time. If we're at sixty, okay. There's your sign. Unless it's a Moroi. Well, no, the Moroi will place a curse on you after it responds to you in the spirit box. So. Just start singing. singing. Okay, we are cleansing. And then we need... What do we need? What do we need? We need something. What the fuck? Oh, we turn off the breaker. Okay, see, not a gin. Concert for the ghost, right? Hello, my friend, we meet again. It's touching the door a lot, bro. What? And it's roaming. This is very slow, too. Um, EMF 5. Uh-huh. 16 degrees. Where are you? Are you here? It's far and wide. Okay. Spare box. Okay, not Oni. So now we need to test for Wraith. Because it keeps it it did a ghost event over there. I went over there and it teleported over there near my location. Could be could be a Wraith. Um so we need this and we need this. What the fuck? It keeps turning off the lights. This will help us rule out Wraith. Uh, the twins? It's gonna be a little- I mean, it's kind of obvious because you have- You can get, um... Let's see, what do we need for twins? Well, I think it's a Wraith. So, if we see dots, it's Wraith. 100%. Can you give me a sign?
Okay, it's 11.4. It's touching this guy. Um, I know the twins can hunt, I think, at 55%. All of these guys can hunt right now. So, we can... We can rule out twins with the hunt because the twins will either be slightly faster than normal speed or slightly slower than normal speed. I'm gonna turn this off. Any orbs? No. I don't think it's twins. I'm thinking it could be either Wraith because the motion sensor's gone off and it hasn't done anything and now it's hunting so I'm gonna run away. That's normal speed. So it's not twins. For sure. So now it's either gonna be... A spirit or wraith and I mean it started the hunt from in that room so if we go back it should have stepped in the salt so if if we go back and it hasn't touched the the salt it's a hundred percent wraith because the spirit can't do that so let's find out it didn't do a damn thing to the salt all right this is a wraith bro I'm calling it now. So that's what I'm saying, man. Like, if you can just take the time, study the Phasmopedia, or the, the Phasma Wiki, um, and, or, you know, check out my ghost guide where I cover all 24 ghosts, um, you will have it learned in no time. It, it seems, Phasmo seems like one of those games where it's like, there's 24 ghosts and all 24 ghosts do completely different things. Um, my game is frozen. Um, we got the tier two salt now. Feels good. And it seems overwhelming because, I mean, there's a lot of ghosts to learn. But it's like once you learn and once you keep practicing the knowledge that you have and putting that into practice, then it it's great. It's great because it helps you enjoy the game so much better than just going into a map and waiting for evidence. You know what I mean? So... What I would recommend is doing what I did when I first started kind of wanting to take this game a little bit more serious and learn a bit more about it and go in on professional where you're getting all three evidences so that you know without a doubt what ghost you're dealing with and then have it hunt you and start picking up on the hunt behavior like its speed or uh, whether or not it's got a different blinking pattern or, you know, something like that. Um, that's going to help you really enjoy the game because, in, in, in my opinion, if you just keep it at a surface level where it's like, oh, this is a scary game, so I'm just going to go into a contract and just hide and wait for evidence, you're really selling yourself short from an enjoyable experience. Now, if that's all you want to do, by all means. But for me personally, I get burnt out on things really easily unless it has a lot of depth, and Phasmo to me has a ton of depth once you get past the scary aspect of it, of the ghost popping out in front of you because it's doing a ghost event or whatever, right? So anywho, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this uh, challenge guide has been helpful for you. If it is or has been, let me know in the comments below. And also don't hesitate to uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this and other spooky stuff, you can hit the subscribe button with notifications on. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, again, I am recording this live on stream. If you want to come check me out live, I would love to have you. Uh, the link for that is down in the description below. So, anywho, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And as always, don't stop being who you are. You're valued. You are loved. You belong in this community. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care.